All right, let's get into the comments. Darth Mike. Darth Mike has a good point. At this point, everyone is just guessing with the market. Uh, we can go by his past cycles for some kind of circle data and hope it continues. And he's exactly right. That 250 day thing just really is based on the four year cycle. So far, they've proven to be correct. Are they going to maintain? Anybody's guess. But uh, they're doing pretty good for 12 years, and we'll see. But uh, the, it could totally change tomorrow. Who knows? I just, when the facts change, I change. And so far, it's been correct. But remember this thing called stock to flow? That worked out pretty well for a long time until it didn't. So just be aware. <laughs> Real PC says the pump couldn't even last the whole day. I thought the, the pump's still going on. I don't know. Let me, maybe I'm wrong. 1.05 trillion. Let's see. Yeah, still the same thing. Ethereum is still up. So yeah. Maybe you're talking about uh, NASDAQ and S&P. And then also from Darth Mike, when you zoom out, there really are no pumps or dumps. You know, let me show you this. This was a great... Da, 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 da. Uh, this graph was in that, that grayscale document. So take a look at that. And just kind of goes over, it breaks it down into, into all these, the, the four different phases. It's every four years, but they kind of just break it down to where we are right now. And he's right. When you zoom out, that's Bitcoin's price, 20K. And yeah, it's not the 63K or 67K, but in all honesty, over the last 12 years, looking pretty good. All right. And what else we got? What? Yeah, Ron says it right. Zoom out. It's been a good, it's been a good week. Take the wins because we don't really get them all the time. Uh-oh. Bobby, this is a uh, dangerous uh, comment. You are bordering on potentially <laughs> being a scam. Uh, I'm really looking for some help, please. If the next statement is, from somebody, oh, go to Sheila Long on Instagram. Blah, blah, blah. I will ban you right now. Okay. Rob, where are you DCAing now with Voyager of the Game Lost My Own Rep? Yeah, me too, man. Uh, so, Bobby, Bobby Shouts, photographer, I believe. Bobby, uh, so I'm using, I am using Coinbase. And uh, it's hard to, to, to eat crow and go back to them, but uh, you do what you got to do. So, I'll be using Coinbase and also Strike. Uh, Jack Mahler's type of uh, uh, for the Lightning Network and works pretty well just for Bitcoin. But if you want to buy alts, you got to go to uh, Coinbase. And I got to tell you, in 2017, when I got in, Coinbase had four tokens, really. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and one other thing. I forgot what it was. Bitcoin Cash. Actually, Bitcoin Cash came later. And that was it. Now I look at Coinbase, uh, it's like it's a never-ending scroll. It's just there's so many cryptos on there. It's amazing. Let's see. Does the Fed raise next week? Force the market to go lower? Depends. Some people will say it won't affect them at all. Some people will say it's going to be a disaster. And remember, it's July 26th and 27th. So what I'm doing is instead of buying crypto every day, I'm just saving up my money. And uh, what I would put in, I just accumulate that. And then on the 27th, when the actual numbers come out of what they're going to raise it to, I just sit there and wait. And if the super high, if it's if they say one basis point, then I just wait, see what the market does. The market starts to crash. I wait a little bit until there's a little bit of an uptick, and then I buy. If they come out and they say, okay, it's 75 points or a full point, and nothing moves, and I just wait, and maybe as, as I see it, maybe it goes up a little bit. That's when I'll buy too. I'm gonna miss out on one two percent. That's okay, because I think. There's a downside. I'm just trying to do what I can do. Ah. Jason Campos. Rob, do you talk about the alts you're skimming with Dan Dejan or can you it's just not handle? <laughs> That's a great question, Jason. So let me... No, everything must be transparent as, more as, as transparent as possible. So let me share. Son of a... Let me put this up here. Ba, ba, ba. Let me share my screen. Great. So this is the video you're watching right now. There's Jason's question. If you go into the comments section, 
not the comments, uh, description. Here's that Celsius Voyager timeline. Da 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 da. Here's all the crypto essentials. You can find the Trueflation app right here. If you think it's a scam email, this is how to check it out. Here's my website, 100% free and all that good stuff. But if you scroll down and you see strategies, well, first of all, there's two channels, Dan Degen, which is just straight up degenerative gambling. Let's just, that is what it is. Well, we've, we've taken a look at four different projects and I have a spreadsheet, 5% Dan Degen plays. You click on that spreadsheet right there and here's the different, God darn it. So Sweatcoin, hold on, everybody bear with me. I'm gonna do this right now. Sweatcoin, there, it's always the third video. Should be the first one, whatever. So here is the deep dive. There we go. There, there, everybody can find it. So there's the deep dive of Sweatcoin. So far we've done four. Gensu Kishi on December 15th, but that one, and I, I'll show you what I bought it at and what the price is today. Actually, I should update that right now. Hang with me. And so, ooh, it's ranked 289, 41 cents. Ba, ba, ba. Ah, so it went from 42 cents to 41 cents. And that's on July 18th. Let's see how Everdome is doing. Everdome, 185, and 008. So that went down, bummer. See price today. Yeah, I'm still up. That's pretty good, which is very rare in this crap market. And then fame. Ah, same thing. Two cents. So two cents. So yeah, and then Sweatcoin isn't out yet. Sweatcoin just it's 100% free, and they're going to do an airdrop on September 12th, and it's right here. Uh, so hopefully I answer your question. So that's all, as transparent as I possibly can be. <coughs> Excuse me. And we go from there. Uh, let's see. What's this? Do you think the Ethereum is... Yes, I do. I mean, <clears throat> geez. They've had forever to get this right. So they're being very careful, which I can appreciate. So... The real question is, do I think it will happen on, what is it, August 18th, September 18th? Always those two ones I get confused. Do I think it will happen on that date? No. I think they'll push it back for something that happens out. And uh, I hope I'm wrong. But it doesn't really matter because, like we talked about yesterday, there was two things we talked about. Ethereum, and I said I was feeling pretty good about that because everything's built on Ethereum, and Polygon. And I said, you know, it's one of those buy the rumors, sell the news type of things. And it worked out perfectly. Rare does and i said ethereum is going to start is going to start pumping because of this merge and people are going to get all excited about it and then when the merge happens the price will drop same thing happened with polygon after the disney announcement i said well there's that and then also they have this big announcement coming out in two days on the 20th of july so expect that to pump a lot too now here we are i'm not chasing pumps that's not my thing pumps are short-lived and doesn't really matter and also just be aware that today <laughs> Today was the day it was supposed to be this massive Voyager pump from some stupid company. I can't call them stupid company. There's just some, some company that said on Twitter that they were going to, uh, you know, come to the aid of Voyager and they're going to pump that price up. And it did two, three days ago. And then it dropped like a stone. And I said, that's a pump and dump scam. And then here it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. I don't know. I hope I'm wrong. Voyager token. Now oh, it's up 4%. Yeah, but look at this. Over the last seven days, it pumped all the way up to 85 cents. I can guarantee people bought into that or down here or somewhere here. And now it's over here and they're underwater. Sorry. All right. C CDCs, CBDCs fly nicely on the radar that they're solid. Yeah. Crypto McFly says it's going to be 100 basis points. I got to, I, I think it's a, for me, it's a 50 50 shot. Which is kind of funny because like when I was talking about hundred a full basis point, people were like, you're dumb. It's not going to happen. 
Well, you're half right. Let's see. It's a great question. Juan Montoya. Rob, is there any hope for being made whole by Voyager? What happens to Sam Bakeman feed saving it? You know, it's a funny thing. Uh, Alameda Research and Alameda Limited, that they're another holding company or another one of their companies. One owes Voyager like 200 and something million dollars and one paid Voyager uh, like 300 something million dollars. It's an odd thing. So to be made whole by Voyager, this is what I think is going to happen. They're in chapter 11. We know that. Sorry for the, the bumpiness. They're in chapter 11. They, the, the plan was to, for, the, for the crypto to be prorated for whatever you have. You're probably going to take a haircut. Let's just be honest. So like if you have one full Bitcoin, they'll probably give you like 0.6 or 0.7 of the Bitcoin on the best thing. They're going to give you the VGX token. They're also going to give you uh, shares of the publicly traded company. And that's what they're going to make up for it. So really what it is, is you're going to take a hit on your crypto, but you're going to get some other parts of it. Is that what you want? Probably not. However, that's what they're, that's the game they're going to play to keep things uh, going over there at the company. Not my, not my thing. So will that make you whole? Well, you won't lose everything. And um, that's what it comes down to. And that's, that's the best possible scenario. I don't think it's going to be, just being honest, I don't think it's going to be where they're going to give you everything back. That's the truth. I lost some. I lost some on Celsius. I don't think I'm going to get any of that back. Maybe I'm wrong. No. <laughs> Capo, that's my real name, is Rob. Rob, will you go on Jerry Springer to prove that you're not dead? Uh, that's a lot of paternity tests. I only got so much to give out. I don't know. Look, everybody's ticked off and and... Then they're really angry. So it's got to be somebody. So if it's got to be somebody, it might as well be me. So if you're, if you're ticked off and pissed, then uh, come over here in the comment section and just sound off. I'm a big kid. I can take it. And then, like I said, it's just uh, I show up every day for a reason because everybody's pissed. They need a punching bag. And sometimes that's just me. So if you're angry, say in the comment section why. And uh, we'll go from there. That's it. Ah. Uh... Oh, okay, this is a good one. So Michael Payne says, hey, Robert, are you able to see us when we add you in the Sweatcoin Challenge? How making me a mod? How about making people a mod? That's a great point. Let's get to it. Who wants to be a moderator? Who wants a wrench? You get a wrench, and you get a wrench. <laughs> ah, that's awful. Hold on. Okay, let me share my screen. Man, is my head that big? Must be. That's not it. Where'd you go? Here we are. Aha. Okay. Gary, you're already a mod, aren't you? Son of a gun. Gary's a mod. Master Blaster. I remember Master. Come on. Okay, everybody stop with the mod. I can't, I can't click on it fast enough. There. Thomas, you're a mod. Cam's videos, I don't know you. Sorry. You got to be around here for a while. I have to actually recognize you. Am I? Sorry. Am I modded? Michael Payne. Yorick, I don't know you. Let's see. Seattle Peddler. Juan Montoya, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oprah. Oh, you're already one. Gary Reed backing tracks. Aren't you one already, Gary? Yeah, you are one. Gary, you're already a moderator. Yeah, Travis got a good point. Uh, Gary Reed, you're already a moderator. If I could take it away. I, I, I think it's because that uh, if you if you got the green tag, it won't show the blue part. Yeah. Orlando, no, I don't. Let's see. No, that's it. Where's the other person? Okay, I missed it. Don't worry, we do this every day. Modulator. 
Pat Murphy. Will crypto crash on 27th of July? It's anybody's guess. Anybody who says they know exactly is full of it and they're lying to you. Army Piper. There is really not a way unless the exchange helps you out. Always send a few dollars. Test before you send your big trend. Yes, that's a good one, Army. You have to do that. Like, you just got to send a test transaction. I know, like, if you're, if you're sending Bitcoin, there's no reason not to send a test transaction because it's super cheap to send Bitcoin right now. Ethereum, I get it. You're like, I don't want to spend five bucks. Well, you will if you're sending, spending like 100000 from one place to the other. Just send a small transaction. It's not like if you send a wire transfer and the bank will be like, oh, we messed up. Here's your money back. If you mess up, it's gone. Uh, let's see. Where'd I go? Sell the, <laughs> sell the news, sell the rumor. <laughs> yeah, Coinbase has ADA. <laughs> I don't care. You guys can call me whatever. Look, in the, as a public person out there on YouTube and Twitter, I've been called much worse than Robert Dan. I think everybody knows that. Reef Club, I update on I trust viability. As far as I know, still viable. Remember, this is what they told me. It's supposed to be on the show, hopefully next week. They said, uh, we don't do loans. We don't put anything to degen stuff. We just allow you to buy and sell crypto. We hold that crypto into Coinbase custody, which is the same custody service that Michael Saylor use, uses. Uh, so... We only make money on the 1% trading fee that you guys do within your Roth IRA account. And that's it. Like, okay, we'll see. All right. What are you ever going to do a random type? No, that's a special occasion. First of all, this is a green screen. I am, on, I am in my mom's basement. But when we do hit 100,000, I will jump into that green screen and make a splash. All is good. All is great. It's one o'clock. It's awesome. Ah, look at that. First Coast Cripper said, I just sent 80. I sent 80 bucks of ETH for buck 20. That's great. <laughs> is George hiding in your pool? No. I've never met George in person, which is a bummer. How do you store your chain link? I just leave it on the exchanges right now. I think, isn't chain link an ERC20 token? So I sold a bunch of my Chainlink before, and uh, I have to take it off, as a matter of fact. Chainlink, I believe, is in the years of 20, so you should be able to put it on your ledger. But I don't have that much, so not that big deal. <sighs> it is a nice green screen. Thanks. Uh, do you still use Coinbase Pro? Coinbase Pro doesn't even exist anymore. It's uh, It's like Coinbase... Pro Trader or something like that. Thomas, how do you say I'm your father? I think it's Yo Soy Su Padre. Uh, this is a great point. And uh, it's been one of the last ones. Joel says, do you think that regardless of whether the Fed does 75 or 100 basis points, maybe all the weak hands have left? Anyone who's afraid of 100 base points could leave now if they wanted. They've stayed. I think a lot of the, and I wouldn't call them weak hands. I would just call them inexperienced hands. Everybody's strong. It just takes time to, to build up that strength of, of, uh, of dealing with this extreme volatility and it's going, well, I know it's crap right now, but over time it'll be better. So I think with these, these 100 basis points, I think that's why you saw in our market when, that's, when those CPI numbers come out, they, they came out. If it was, if it was uh, May 2021, we would have saw we would have seen a ton of downside, because I think a lot of those times it's a bunch of crypto tourists who just like numbers go up, numbers go up sounds good. I'll invest in numbers go up. I like numbers go up. Then when it goes down, I'm like I don't like that. I'm out of here, and that's it. But I think right now, like this is why I really appreciate these times on my channel. I don't have people telling me like, oh, Rob, you should get into this crypto because it's going to go to the moon. 
and uh, you don't know what you're talking about because you're shell shock from and have PTSD from 2017. And Bitcoin is a boomer coin and it won't be used by anybody. You got to really get into X, Y, Z and whatever. So all those people are gone. Thank God. And I just get to deal with, uh, I just get to hang out with people like you who are in here for the long haul, who are really, in my, my opinion, the strong hands. So like right now is the best time. And it's fun. I don't get as many views, but I could care less, honestly. I mean, if I wanted more views, I would just do another stream or three or four or five streams a day, but I don't really care about that. I just, <laughs> I just want to do my little piece and get out of here. So this is the great times. I think this is the time when everybody's the strongest because they're like, I don't care. I'll be here for three, five, 10 years. So uh, we'll see. I honestly don't think 100 basis points will probably affect uh, the traditional markets, but you have to also remember that what market is open 24 seven, 365, it's crypto and we're always open. And a lot of those traditional market players and hedge funds have dabbled here and they are the ones that will probably drop. It's not me and you retail. It's those guys. And some of, some of us will sell. Sure. I don't know. Daniel Water says, Rob Cardano is ranked 23rd in DeFi Llama. What do you expect to buy? But just so you know, Bitcoin is ranked 24th, <laughs> so not too bad. Or it's right behind there. Um, I see, this is what I see. When I look at Cardano and I think to myself, how's this thing going to grow and where things are going? I just always look at this one. And you can also find this in the description too. This is my, I call it the Cardano ghost chain images. This is the ecosystem in 2020, right? And of course, things get built. Here's the DEXs. This is April. Here's November. And then here's April. Here's the projects currently being built. So I don't see Cardano staying in this low sector. I will say, though, that, you know, have you used Cardano? It's fast and it's cheap. And the, the first DEXs weren't fast and the first DEXs weren't that cheap but they're coming around, especially with that Basil upgrade. So I see it just only increase. And that's all I can tell you. I don't know where it's going to be, but it's why I have a stake pool. I've had a stake pool for over two years. And that's another thing. I got to start talking about that. Damn it. So if you have any of your Cardano or anything on a, on a, on an exchange, why are you doing that? Take it off the exchanges. What have they done for you lately? Right? So if you want to secure the network as far as Cardano, put it into a Cardano stake pool. Uh, there's a, damn it. I wanted to show you. There's a link. It's in the description. And it looks like this, the Cardano stake pool. And when you click on that, it'll open up my, my website. Oh, well, that's cool. I didn't know I actually changed that. And you watch the video and it'll tell you exactly how to do it. And everything is right there for you. Oh, look at that. Um, and I show you how to do it on different wallets. And you can go from there. Now, if you don't want to use my stake pool, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Just pick a stake pool. And I show you how to lo look at all the different stake pools that are out there. I make it super simple. And what's great about staking with Cardano, it never leaves your wallet. It stays in your Cardano wallet. And there's no lockup periods. There's no slashing fees. If you want to talk about somebody who did a great job with uh, staking, it's Cardano. They did a fantastic job with that. Super simple. Love it. Soy tu papa. Sure. Vicky says, when American Board of Trade went under in the 80s, I had to, to percentage back from bankruptcy for my silver loss. How much, how much did you get back? That was the question. I know some people say, well, chapter 11, you don't get anything back. Some people do get some back, but it's not everything. Yeah, it's not. 100K for Bitcoin is not going to happen in 2023, usually. That's not how it works. Uh, usually the halving happens, and then we, we don't hit all-time highs until the, the year afterwards. I don't use FTX. I probably should. I'm waiting for uh, Binance to get back to me. I told them that I would, 
So one of their marketers reached out to me and said, hey, how would you like to talk about Binance? US, and I was like, well, I will, if you can explain to my audience why they should switch over to you and how you make things safe and how great you are, come on the show. And I didn't ask for CZ, I just wanted somebody and they haven't got back to me yet. So when that happens, I'll let you know. You know, oh really trip, you know it's not a green screen. How many years did you serve? Uh, Army for eight years. Good times, good times. Uh, <laughs> je suis ton pare. I'm in French. I'm French. Oh, great. Uh, Coinbase and uh, Zach, Jack Mahler's uh, strike. Coinbase is not the best exchange for fees. However, have you heard about, uh, it's, what is it called? Coinbase Zero? Coinbase something? You pay 30 bucks a month and you pay no fees. It's not bad. If you're a dollar cost averager, that's something to look at. You don't pay any fees. So if you dollar cost average Bitcoin every day, the fee is going to be about a buck fifty, buck forty nine. So if you pay thirty bucks, that'll just, that'll cover that easily. Uh, yeah. I don't swear so much. You should have seen me when I was in the military. Yeah, Bronco says, I followed Rob's link to sign with Voyager. Hopefully you also took a look at this right here, my rules, and also saw, heard the video on June 22nd where I talked about take all your money off Voyager, all your crypto Voyager. So I hope that worked out. It's pumping. What's pumping? <laughs> this is a young guy question. Martin says, do you still work to stay in shape? Typical question, how much do you bench? That's a young guy question. I don't bench. I don't even bench press anymore. I used to do that a lot. But then, you know, once you blow out your shoulder, you stop doing stuff like that. Yeah. I'm not a psychologist, though. Let's see. I think that's it. I think we're, we, oh, we're at a, we're at a, Piper, you asked for that uh, meetup. Here it goes. So look, everybody, that's it. We're getting deep in the weeds type of stuff. Um, let me make sure. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for today. So look, uh, I just need a favor. If you would be so kind. Just hit the like button. That's it. That's it. And uh, if you do that, I'll come back tomorrow. Ah, well, who am I kidding? I'll come back tomorrow anyhow. We'll do this all again. We'll talk about uh, the good stuff, the hopium, and then also the bad stuff so you have a little bit of balance. So that's it for today. So look, like today's video, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. But that's it for today. So thank you, everybody, for stopping by. That's great. I appreciate you. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Adios. Okay, no cussing while I hit the end broadcast.